We've all been there before. You've got a beautiful tile floor that gets ruined by dirty or yellow grout. But those grout lines are difficult to get into and require a ton of scrubbing to even make a dent. Luckily, the Drill Brush Power Scrubber is the perfect tool for the job. Start by adding a little cleaning solution to the surface you want to clean. Not too much though, so we can avoid splatter. Then, grab one of our flat 4 or 5 inch brushes. Tilt the brush at a 45 degree angle so that the edge of the bristles are hitting the grout line. Then just pull the trigger and start scrubbing. Take a look at this. A regular hand brush takes forever to clean between the tiles, and it looks incredibly tiring. The drill brush quickly blasts through built up grind to clean up grout lines in half the time. So when you have grout to clean, make sure you use one of our drill brush flat brushes and our recommended technique. If you've seen some of our other drill brush tutorial videos, you may have noticed that I'm pretty tall. This allows me to reach hard to clean places with my drill brush power scrubber. However, not all of us are so vertically inclined, and even I have trouble reaching things like lighting fixtures and crown molding. Fortunately, drill brush extensions are here to help increase your cleaning reach. But first, a note on safety. Because of slight variation between drills, there's almost always some wiggle to the chuck. Any extension will magnify this, so avoid using them at higher speeds. To use an extension, place the shaft end of your brush into the extension's chuck. Then just insert the shaft of the extension into your cordless drill or impact driver and you're ready to go. Drill brush extensions come in two sizes, 5 inch and 7 inch. The 5 inch extension is good for the average homeowner that needs to reach difficult spots around the home, such as above the fridge or the tops of picture frames. You can even use the extension to get into pitchers and vases, two objects that are nearly impossible to clean by hand. The 7 inch extension is good for cleaning deep or submerged items, like water tanks or a garbage can. They're also useful if you're using caustic cleaners. The length of the extension helps keep you away from potentially damaging cleaning chemicals. Our extensions are good for more than just reaching high places and small vases. Here to talk about how drill brush extensions help him clean is our IT guy, Jeff. Thanks John. In addition to being the IT guy, I'm also in some of our B-roll clips. Now I suffer from scoliosis, and that makes a lot of these clips hard for me to film. Our extensions help me with a lot of low to the ground jobs, such as cleaning tile floors, baseboards, and molding. And at the end of the day, this means I spend less time cleaning, and also less time in pain. Now back over to John to wrap things up. With drill brush extensions, there's no surface you can't reach. In fact, one could say they really extend the uses of your drill brush. <laughs> So you finally finished cleaning that mess that's been driving you crazy, but now your drill brush is dirty. How do you clean a drill brush? You could get a 2 inch brush to clean your original, but luckily there's a better way. Our brushes are easy to clean with running water and a little soap. If your sink has a spray head, using it will remove the grime faster and easier. You can even clean our brushes in the dishwasher. Just be sure to dry the shaft thoroughly to prevent rusting. To dry. Either let your brush air dry, or you can put the brush back in the drill and fling some of the water off outside, in a sink, or in a tub. If you use this method, make sure you have the drill angled properly to prevent water from splattering. Storing drill brush afterwards is easy. To prevent the bristles from bending, simply store them neatly and without large objects on top of them. For long term storage, look no further than the packaging your drill brush products came in. Return the brush to the blister pack or box when the job is done. If you do that, your drill brush will have a longer life and be ready for the next project. One of the most common fears for novice drill brush users is splatter. It makes sense. Drills are high power tools that can easily fling cleaning solution everywhere. But with a steady hand and these tips, you'll be cleaning like a drill brush pro. A common cause of splatter is the overuse of liquid soap. With most modern cleaners, a little goes a long way. You can minimize splatter by going lighter on the cleaning solution. Another alternative is to make a cleaning paste. By mixing a more viscous cleaner with some water, you can make a manageable paste that will stick to the brush better. In fact, you can even rub the brush in the cleaner before you begin. If the cleaner is nestled in the bristles, it's less likely to go flying. Perhaps the best strategy for keeping the mess under control is simply using a lower drill speed. 
Higher speeds may look rad, but they often just fling dirt around without being more effective than the calmer settings on your drill. A slower speed is also helpful for individuals who don't have as much experience with a drill, as a novice user will have better control over the machine. You don't want to make a mess when you're cleaning a mess. By managing your drill speed and using less cleaning solution, you'll be able to get your house clean the first time. We're often asked, what drill should I use with my drill brush power scrubber? Drill brush fits in any cordless drill, so it's mostly down to personal preference, but some drills are better for certain cleaning tasks than others. The standard adjustable chuck cordless drill is a common choice for drill brush users. In fact, you may have one of these in your house already. These drills are versatile and work well with all of our quick change brushes. For a lighter drill with more power, why not try an impact driver? These do not have an adjustable chuck, but they're high powered for particularly stubborn stains and their smaller stature makes them a bit easier to handle than their adjustable counterparts. Close quarters drills work great with our flat brushes. These drills have an adjustable chuck like regular drills, but have a design that allows you to get into some really tight spaces or have two-handed control out in the open. These drills are great for tile floors and carpets as well as those awkward spaces that would be difficult for other drills. Our threaded brushes weren't designed for drills at all. These go in oscillatory polishers. Instead of spinning the brush, these machines scrub in little circles similar to how you might scrub by hand. These clean similar to a close quarters drill on large surfaces, but are more heavy duty. Our industrial grade seven inch brushes are made specifically for variable speed polishers. Pro cleaners and hardcore DIYers may need something a bit tougher than the standard drill brush lineup, and they're who we had in mind when we designed these brushes. Variable speed polishers have enough torque to power through tough grime on large surfaces like carpets, tile floors, and industrial flooring. There are plenty of devices you can use, but there are some that you should not use with a drill brush. Corded drills may hit RPMs too high for standard brushes, and the higher voltage in a corded drill can pose a shock hazard around cleaning liquids. Do not use drill brush in a corded drill. If you're familiar with the drill brush product line, you'll know that our brushes come in different shapes for different cleaning specialties. The mini and original are built for corners and contours, the 4 and 5 inch flat brushes are built for flat surfaces, and the 2 inch short and long brushes are made for spot cleaning and detail work. But what if I told you that with the right technique, there are more cleaning possibilities for your brush to achieve? You know the original and mini can get in the corners, but what about holes? Using the nose of the brush, you can thoroughly scrub the inside of drains and pipe fittings. Would you believe that the original can clean flat surfaces too? Use the side of the brush to lift dirt or pet hair from carpets, or get salt and dust out of your welcome mat. Did you know the 2-inch brush can give a 360 degree clean? It's possible if you use it on small objects like lug nuts. These brushes are also great for small drains and trim packages. And as we showed in a previous video, you can tilt the flat brushes at a 45 degree angle to get into grout lines more effectively. With the proper handling, you'll be able to get more out of your brush than you might have thought possible. But if you do need additional brushes, we sell a bunch of multi-brush kits to cater to your cleaning needs. Drill brush products are extremely durable and built to handle the toughest surfaces. However, you can make your brush last even longer by using this technique. Using your drill brush in the same manner for a long period of time can cause all the bristles to bend in one direction, hurting the brush's cleaning effectiveness. This can be avoided by switching the direction of your drill periodically. By making the brush spin back and forth, the bristles will stay straighter for longer. Here's an example. We ran the brush to the left in only one direction. The one on the right we switched directions every minute. After a few hours of cleaning, look at how much nicer the one on the right looks. Cleaning brushes take a lot of abuse, but by changing your drill's direction as you clean, you can get the most out of your brushes for more of your cleaning tasks. Animals are awesome, but even pet parents can agree that the hair they leave around is not. I'm sure if your furry friends had opposable thumbs, they'd grab a drill brush and clean up after themselves. But until that happens, you'll have to do it yourself. Luckily, drill brush can remove fur from even the most troublesome surfaces. Before we begin, it's important to note that we are not using cleaning solutions when picking up pet hair. The solution will only make your job much harder. Just use a fresh, dry drill brush. 
Holding an original on its side, simply set your drill to a low speed and move against the rotation to lift pet hair off the surface. Pet hair can tangle up the brush in your vacuum cleaner, and freeing it from its fuzzy prison is a chore. But with a drill brush, hair lifts right off. Pets are part of the family, and with drill brush, you can make sure your home is nice and tidy for everyone, whether they have two legs or four. Hi, I'm John from Drill Brush, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This video is a part of our Tips and Tricks series for our Drill Brush demo page. If you want to see all the videos in this series, we have a link to the page in the description below. And all the videos will be in a playlist here. Thank you for watching, and happy scrubbing!